could swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin. You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good, kind of everything, yet it doesn't feel like it should. You make me feel kind of wrong, kind of right, kind of anything, and I would change it if I could, could, could. Where is uh, Scott? And What is God? Um, a feeling and does not have a body like me. Very good. Who wrote the Bible? A uh, chosen man and by, by a holy man. Very good. All right, sis, who made you? Ah. God, that's right. What else did God make? Every, all things. This can say all things. It's okay. Right. Hey, Mom. Okay, what is the first command? You shall not have one of the gods before me. Very good. You shall have no other gods before me. What's the second one? You shall not worship the idol for yourself. You shall not make for yourself an idol. Very good. Alright, so this poem is called Bed in Summer and it's by Robert Louis Stevenson. Welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time if you are new. Today I thought I would bring you along our homeschool routine. I have a preschooler, an almost two year old, and an almost three month old. So it's a little bit chaotic. We kind of have to do things however they happen. But we have a little bit of a routine that's been working for us and I thought I would show you how I manage a preschooler and a toddler specifically but also the baby. Um, although he's not quite as needy yet. You saw that we did our, what I'm calling circle time. It's just kind of our morning time. We do our hymn that we're currently studying. We're doing the doxology um, with our gentle classical preschool curriculum. And then we are, what else did we do? <laughs> I've already forgotten. We did our scripture memory. We're remembering, we're mem remembering. I woke up with a headache and I'm very tired because I have a newborn and an almost two year old and so words are hard. So bear with me. Um, anywho, we're memorizing Ephesians 4.32. We did our catechisms, which you saw probably the popsicle sticks. Those are our catechisms. Um, and we read our poem before the baby woke up and wanted to eat. So basically the way that I do our morning time so that the uh, two-year-old doesn't feel left out because she basically wants to be in the middle of all of it. And this is how I do all of our school stuff. Um, I include her in it as much as she wants to be included. If she wants to go do her own thing, that's fine. Um, but a lot of times she wants to be in the middle of all of it, which is also fine. Uh, makes it a little more stressful for me and a little bit more work, but I think it'll be more rewarding in the end. Um, and it makes some good memories for her in the future, I hope. For morning time, the way I include her is I have the three, the first three catechisms that I ask her. 
she knows the first two pretty well. Who made you? God. What else did God make? All things. Uh, why did God make you and all things we're still working on? She answers them. You can't actually understand what she's saying because she doesn't really talk that well. Um, but I know that she is saying God because she says, Ah! And Ah! He! Or something along those lines. The inflection is there. Um, but it's cute. And she's at least getting exposed to it. Um, what else do I do? Oh, we sing ABCs. My son knows his ABCs, but we sing them for little sister. Um, although I don't think we did that this morning. Oops. I think that's about it. When we read, she usually sits in my lap and reads with us. We're about to go clean up the table. They, um, they did their little art notebooks, uh, while I cleaned up the kitchen. We're having friends over for dinner tonight, so I needed to clean up the kitchen just to get that kind of started. I'll have to clean it up like five more times today, so whatever. Um, but they did their little art binders, journal things. Um, while I did that, they're currently playing, uh, while I talked to you guys and made my bed. So we're going to go clean off the table and start our formal lessons. My biggest disclaimer, my son is four and a half. None of this is required. This is all optional. Um, and as a matter of fact, we don't do school every day to the point where I don't organize our school activities by day. Some days we do school four or five days a week. Some days we don't do school at all that week. Um, or for that month for that matter. If he doesn't want to do it, or if the weather's really nice, or if we have a play date, or Gran wants to come over, or whatever, we do that. Um, but my son loves school. He gets really excited about it and he asks for it. So for that reason, we are a little bit more consistent and it's a little bit more involved than probably a normal four or four and a half year old's school schedule. But it works for us and that's fine. Um, again, I don't force it, it's all optional. If he wants to do five minutes of this, then we do five minutes and we quit. Um, so if this ends up being a really short video, you know he wasn't feeling it. Before we get more into the homeschool part of this video, you'll notice that we had a channel name change. Woohoo! I've been working on that for a little while and I've been waiting to share it. Um, so we are now the Bonnie Bunch, which I just think kind of explains more my content, more my life right now. My Southern Soapbox was a blog that I did like in high school, but I think the Bonnie Bunch is a little bit more up our alley because um, that's who we are and this is our life and that's what these videos are it's just a peek into our life so we can remember back in the day when we did fun homeschool stuff and i had little kids that sort of drove me nuts but also made life more fun so make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you like homeschool routines and let's go do some school stuff. All right, hey, who wants to do school? You do? Are you sure? Sweat, yeah. You do? Sweat. No, don't hit me. I'm sweaty. No. Do you want to do school, sis? All right, hey. But she looks like trouble Her lips so kissable And poisonous I know she won't be good for me
Sister, get this in. What are you doing? Are you doing some See? Uh, color sorting? See, you just do it like that. Good job. Where does this one go? To orange. Orange. Yeah. Good job. All right. What letter does that start with? T. K. Hold your pencil. Very good. All right. Kids are outside. We just finished lunch. It is 12:10, um, and we just finished lunch. The kids are outside playing, and I thought I would show you guys how I'm doing our gentle classical preschool curriculum, because uh, there are a lot of people in the Facebook group for this curriculum that have asked this specific question. So I thought I'd share how I'm doing this with um, my kiddo. Uh, he is quite young, he's four and a half, like I've already said, uh, and there's a lot of stuff that is in one week's worth of lessons, if that makes sense. <clears throat> and it looks very overwhelming. So let me, here, let me show you real quick what is in one week, if you're looking into this curriculum or if you're just looking at curriculums in general and you're curious, um, let me show you what a typical week looks like uh, and then I'll show you how we're actually implementing it. This is for the Gentle Classical Preschool Level 2. Um, and this is the teacher's guide. It is online for free. 
you can download it and look at it yourself. A unit is one week, and this is what she has for one week. So it's a lot of stuff when you look at it, but I don't do all of this every day. I break it up. And the way I've decided to do that, because we don't necessarily do school every day, I've decided to break it up into a loop schedule. And I'll explain why I have it pink day, green day, I'll explain that in a minute. But here's what we do every time we do school. Not necessarily in this order. So that's what you saw in the this morning when we were sitting in my green chair. You saw us doing all of this. And the daily reading is really what is coming down into these days. So on pink day we read our Bible story and do our manners and hygiene. And then the poem is already in here. There's also a printable that she has. There's also a book you can get if you want to. The nursery rhyme, I have all of our books I have in this basket because we usually do our circle time in the chair. So I have our nursery rhyme and our wonder tale book here as well. So Blue Day we'll do Nursery Rhyme, and then we'll do our Wonder Tale on the Orange Day, and then Art and Music on Yellow Day. And the reason that I chose to assign days is one, it just makes it visually grouped, you know? And then also, I went and marked all of our books with, oh, that one got taken out. But I have little binder clips that correspond to the colors of the day so that way I know when I'm doing pink day I just need to flip open to this binder clip when I'm doing blue day I'll flip over into this binder clip orange day that one so on and so forth um it just makes it easier I can also put in my planner that we're doing green day so that way if we decide that we're not doing school that day or whatever, I don't have to scramble to rearrange a calendar or whatever. Um, it just works out a little bit more easily. I do use my phone. I have Trello and I've planned out each unit for the first term of the Gentle Classical Preschool curriculum. And that way if there are any videos that I wanna show or there are some like read alouds that are on YouTube, that I will reference and I have that written in my binder so I know to go to Trello because uh, I don't always go to Trello every day. Uh, but that way all my links are in one spot and I'm not having to figure that out. And I think that's pretty much it for this curriculum. If you have any questions about how I organize it, why we chose this, how it is that we do this with a four and a half year old and almost two year old and a three month old, leave a comment down below. It's very chaotic. Um, the key is to just go with the flow. If it's not working, stop. They are outside playing. When Norma goes down for a nap, we'll do Will's math. We did his phonics earlier and Norma did some color stuff. She likes to be included in it. Um, but of course, she's two. And so there was some melting down. Um, she really, really wanted to keep doing her morning binder but it was time to put that away and I can't just leave her with a dry erase marker for forever that doesn't usually go well. Will, when he was her age, it wouldn't have mattered. He would have only colored on the thing that he can color on, um, but she's not that way. So we had to put that away and she wasn't pleased. Um, but she did some of her own stuff. She's learning colors and shapes and just kind of doing what she wants to do really. Leave some questions below and we'll come back and do math together in just a little bit. A little bit? Not a little bit. A little bit.
And that is how we do preschool with a four-year-old, an almost two-year-old, and an almost three-month-old. Lots and lots of chaos, lots of stopping and starting again, and in theory, lots of patience, although not always. <laughs> um, so I hope this gave you some ideas on how you can do preschool when you have very young children in the house. Um, basically, I just include her in everything that we do, and if she wants to do it, she does. If she doesn't, then she goes and does something else. And that's how we do that. Sometimes I end up holding her through the whole thing. That's fine. Sometimes I say this isn't working and we need to stop and do it another day. That's fine too. Thank you for following along our homeschool routine. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.